Nico and I'm Lucia and we're going to be talking about the seven continents. Mm -hmm. Let's start with the one that we live on, North America. So North America is here. <laughs> also with Greenland up there. With Greenland here. It includes Greenland. Canada and for US and Mexico. North America is the far largest continent. Cool, right? <laughs> Do you ever wonder where America got its name? It was named after the explorer Marco Suspucci. Suspucci? Marco Vespucci. <laughs> and then it's South America. South America includes here, at the tip of Mexico, and all here. This big chunk of land. Mm -hmm. Giant, isn't it? That includes Brazil. South America has the highest point on Earth. It's a mountain in Ecuador. The highest waterfall is in called Angel Falls. And it's located in South America. Actually very close to where our mom was born. In Venezuela. The next continent is Africa. This hunk of land, also including Madagascar. It's all here. Franco, don't move the map. Pretty big. Africa has the world's longest river. It's the Nile River, located in Egypt. Scientists believe the first humans came from Africa. The world's hardest place is in Africa. It's in the country of Ethiopia. Let's go up here to Europe. Here. This is Europe. This includes Spain, France, England. Yeah, pretty cool places. Europe is the second smallest continent. <laughs> Europe has the most global trade. <laughs> if there are no deserts in Europe, part of Russia is in Europe, and part of it is in Asia. The next continent is. Asia, all this big hunk of land. It includes countries like India and China. Asia has for most people. And it's the largest continent. Asia is separated from Europe by the Ural Mountains. Then there's Australia. There are more sheep in Australia than humans. That's a lot of sheep. Australia is the only continent that has one country. It is also the smallest continent. Now we head to the coldest place on Earth. The continent of Antarctica. It says it here. Pretty and it's also the windiest continent. It has no countries and no one lives there. Only visitors go and maybe penguins stay. Those are the world's seven continents. Which one do you live on? Oh, we didn't tell you what a continent is. They're just continuous giant land masses. So yeah, that's all you have to know. And also they move around um, sometimes because the earth is always spinning. So yeah, it moves around after shake and move very slow for continents. Like, but sometimes, like extremely cause slow. Because they used to be all one, but now they separated. Now they're what we call the seven continents, if you didn't know. And if you didn't know, they're still moving. 
it's very, 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 very slow. When it came apart is when dinosaurs were still alive. So that's how dinosaurs changed to took on to different types of dinosaurs. It adapted to different where they live. So that's why it's a whole lot of different dinosaurs. What was this landmass? Pangaea. But it split apart. That Pangaea was big. Oh wow. Yeah, that egg was big as like off continents to get and smashed in. Like imagine like was here, it would be like just a one giant like blob Mass. here. And it's like big. It's one giant continent. Like it would be like one giant thing here. Like land continent right there with a couple of islands around it and that would be like Pangaea. Thanks for watching. Oh well, thanks for watching. Bye. 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 <laughs>